Hello, I'm Dr. Prabir Basu, consultant, urologist and a men's health expert. Today, I'm not talking about men's health. Rather, I'll be talking about your mom's health. Surprised? Let's walk the talk. I'm going to talk about urinary tract infection in elderly females. Very common, 70 to 80% of elderly female population in our society suffers from urinary infection. And about one third of these patients develop recurrence, that is two or more episodes in the next six months. So as you can understand, recurrent urinary tract infection in elderly female population is a very distressing condition, both for the patient, also for the family. Now what are the symptoms of urinary tract infection? The patient will have sudden urgency to pass urine. She will have pain while passing urine. She will then have some backache, foul smelling urine, blood in the urine. Sometimes she will have loss of appetite, extreme weakness, delirium, and also confusion. This is very common in dementic populations. So if you find that your mom is suffering from the symptoms, consult a urologist as soon as possible because early treatment will save her from a lot of morbidities. This is part one of today's discussion. Part two, I will give you my eight tips to prevent urinary tract infection. So if you, if you are able to incorporate this in her lifestyle habits, she will be saved from this distressing condition. One is, tip number one is hydration. It has been found that kidneys and the urinary bladder, which are the major sites of infection, these are very much dependent on our fluid status. So if we take lots of fluids, water throughout the day, it will, the kidney will produce enough urine. So any infection which gets settled in any place around the urinary tract, it will get flushed out. Now, how much water will she take is maybe the question. So it's said and a thumb rule is that one liter per 20 kilos of body weight. So if someone is weighing about 80 kgs, she needs to take four liters of water throughout the day in spaced manner. Now excessive water intake is restricted or contraindicated in patients with renal failure, cardiac symptoms or cardiac failure and any anatomical obstruction along the urinary tract. Two are the keeping the private parts clean and also proper toilet training habits. After every defecation, the person must wipe her per perineal region with a clean cloth or clean tissue paper from front to back. Repeat, she will need to uh, just uh, turn the tissue and use the, use the clean end and do the same. The basis of this is that we don't want residue from the anus or the vagina, which are the contaminant areas where the bugs most likely come from to come to the urinary orifice. So when the bugs settle down in the urinary orifice, it stays there for quite some time. And when the condition is good for the bugs to grow, they go into the bladder and then finally they ascend the kidneys. Three, use of topical estrogen. It has been found that uh, in elderly females, supposedly uh, postmenopausal, there is a rapid drop in estrogen levels. Same thing happens, local estrogen levels in the genital urinary area, it goes down. So the local area becomes very stiff, very, uh, I mean, say rough and cause a lot of irritation and makes the area susceptible to infection. So after a bath, clean the private parts, then use a soft cotton towel, to swab dry and with a finger, put some cream, estrogen a cream and apply it around the urethral orifice. Do it once or twice daily. Now this is one disclaimer, because of safety concern, it is better to do a cervical pap smear before starting topical estrogen therapy. Tip number four, now there are some herbal medicine or over-the-counter medicine, not basically medicines, the food which are helps in preventing recurrent UTI. One is cranberry extracts. You can buy cranberry juice from local grocery, grocery shop. Let her drink one glass, small glass after or with breakfast and uh, cranberry is found to have some substances which prevents adherence of bacteria to the bladder wall. So if there is enough amount of urine production, it will get flushed off. Two is take, let her take a lot of garlic and soya beans uh, because they contain a lot of phytoestrogens. 
probiotics in plenty yogurt very good source fourth is uh, let us take vitamin C in the form of citrus fruits tip number I would say four five five and six will be avoid of constipation that's very important let her take lots of isop ghoul at night with the warm water let her bowel habits be normal six is if she's having any comorbid illness like diabetes hypothyroid do routinely check her sugar and thyroid or TSH levels because any fluctuation and any disorder of these uh, diseases can cause recurrent UTI. Seven and the eight tip number seven will be if your mother is wearing an adult dap of some case because of incontinence uh, she needs to change it daily. Eight if she had an episode of kidney stone disease in the past which had been medically and surgically treated there is a chance that the stones will recur. So you need to consult your urologist on a regular basis to see whether the stone has recurred or not because even a tiny kidney stone will cause recurrent infection and you won't be able to know what's the cause. So friends, I think I am able to tell you some tips of how can you keep your mother healthy and uh, do follow these tips. If you find them useful, do subscribe to my channel. I will be coming soon with more such videos on health awareness. Till then, keep safe, stay fit and see you. I will be coming back. Bye-bye.